Hi, this is Faiz and you are watching the Drone Expert YouTube channel. These are fourth video of LiDAR training series. Previous videos links are in the description box. So today we are going to discuss selection of LiDAR sensor. In this video, we will learn how to select a LiDAR sensor and which sensor are best for your project. Without wasting any more time, let's dive into it. Types of LiDAR sensors. Generally, there are two types of LiDAR sensors are available in the market. First, mechanical. Second is solid state. Let's understand the difference between these two with examples. We all use a storage device and nowadays for, st for storing a data, we use hard disk and SSD, solid state drive. Many people are familiar with this. However, I would like to highlight the difference between the two. A hard disk contains a moving disk that continuously rotates whereas an SSD or solid state drive has no rotating parts. Similarly, a LiDAR sensor with a rotating part is called a mechanical LiDAR which while one without a rotating part is called a solid state LiDAR. Now, Let's understand what factor to consider before selecting a LiDAR sensor. Basically, there are three important factors used during LiDAR sensor selection. First, altitude. Second, accuracy. Third, application. Let's understand the role of altitude. As discussed in our previous videos, the range of LiDAR is very important. Therefore, it is essential to consider the range before selection. Let's take an example. Velodyne VLP-16 is a LiDAR with a range of 100 meter. This means it can only work effectively up to an altitude of 100 meter. If the altitude exceeds these limits, its effectiveness will decrease. Therefore, during selection, you should consider the altitude at which you need to operate as per the rules and other factors. Let's come to the accuracy. The objective of using a LiDAR sensor is high accuracy. Therefore, it is important to check the accuracy of a sensor before selection. For example, the Velodyne's VLP-16 has an accuracy mentioned in the specification plus minus 3 cm, which falls into the category of high accuracy. Now, let's discuss about application. This is an important parameter in LiDAR sensor selection. For example, in forest or archaeology survey, canopy penetration, the number of channels and ground returns plays important roles. On the other hand, in power line or railway inspection and mining inspection, the number of return is less important. Terminologies used in LiDAR sensor specifications. There are some technical terminologies in LiDAR sensor specification that are important to understand for LiDAR selection. Let's understand them in easy way. First, let's talk about channels. Drone LiDAR generally comes with 8, 16, 32 or 128 channels. Channel simply refers to number of laser beams which sometimes is reflected in the sensor name such as VLP16 here 16 means channels. Now let's discuss about returns. The laser pulses emitted by the LiDAR sensor hit the ground and then other objects before returning to the sensor. For example, in forest area, the laser light hit the top of the tree first, then branches and finally the ground. This concept is known as returns, as you can see in the screen. Now let's discuss about field of view, FOV. This refers to the area captured by the camera or LiDAR sensor without moving the camera. It generally measures in degree and can be horizontal or vertical. Thanks for watching. Please visit our website www.droneschools.in. We provide lots of courses related to drones and also subscribe to our channel for daily update about drones. Thanks for watching. See you into the next video.